where you review this tool that we use at MyCFO to assess our client's risk tolerance. You can find this tool by typing in any browser allocation.myecfo.com. Essentially what you have is three or four parameters that you must enter, the amount that you wish to invest, and your allocation or your mix of stocks, bonds, and cash. So I'm going to go through an example and show you how this works. Let's assume that I want to invest a million dollars. So I would type in a million dollars here, and I want to invest 50% of that money, 50% of that portfolio in stocks, maybe 40% in bonds, and 10% in cash. So you can see the output at the bottom. Essentially what this tool is doing is looking at historical returns of the S&P 500, treasury bonds, treasury bills, 1928 to 2013, and putting out what the, question, what the results are of that particular portfolio. So here you have a pie chart shows what your allocation is, and this worst annual returns table shows you what the annual return, investment return, over these various time frames. For example, in a one year period, historically, this portfolio would have returned negative 23% or so approximately. In a 30 year period, the return would be a positive 6% approximately. Now, this is intuitive to say that over a long period of time, the chances of having a negative return, historically speaking, are pretty low. In a one year period, the worst would have been about minus 23%. The worst would have been about 6% in a 30 year period. And you can see here, another way to think about this assessment is to think about the worst ending value of your original investment, which in this case is a million dollars. In a one year period, the portfolio would have been about $773,000. In a 30 year period, the worst return would have been about $5.6 million. Now, of course, all of this assumes no taxes, no fees, no other detractors of the return. It's just based on index returns of the S&P 500, treasury bonds, and treasury bills. But this tool can be very effective if you're trying to play around with what are the worst scenarios for a particular portfolio. Uh, you can you know, change it to 30 there, 20 here. This is a more conservative portfolio, so your return is a little less if you did for example, 100% bonds and 0% cash, you need to make sure these are added to zero. The worst one year historical return is about 11%, minus 11%. So this gives you a good sense of what historically has happened. The most common saying for compliance in the investment world is past performance is not an indicator of future performance. And I will repeat that here because it is using historical returns of the US stock market, bond market, and treasury bill market. So just keep that in mind, but I think it's a, it still a, can be a useful tool in determining which, what I think is most important to an investor, and that's the risk tolerance. Concentrate on worst annual returns and worst ending values. For, completely, for completeness, I added average and best, but I think uh, no one's going to cry with the average and best ending values and returns. They're going to get upset with the worst ending values and worst returns. So that's the, from a risk tolerance perspective, that's what I would concentrate. And that's what I recommend to my clients to concentrate on.